is your iPad Pro, talking about anything and everything about the iPad Pro. And today, we're gonna be looking at LiDAR scanners. Let's check them out. Okay, so today we're going to be scanning this table along with these four things on, on the table as well as this room. We have a window, a balcony right here, white walls, and let's see how well it scans the room and these objects. So today, we're going to, need to have these five apps. So we have Polycam, we have, what's this? CP, LiDAR Scanner, Scaniverse, and 3D Scanner app. So let's see which of these five works great for, you know, LiDAR scanning. Let's check them out. Okay, let's start with the Polycam app. I already did some scans earlier today, but we're gonna do a new one. The Polycam uh, interface is, is in portrait mode, but you can scan it with uh, like this. I think all the blue areas are you supposed to like go over. right here it's doing pretty well with the uh, even with the glass I think it's scanning the outside right there so what is LiDAR scanning anyway does it measure uh, the light bouncing off or does it measure actual distance let's see let's go big Google search and uh, post up the description on the screen right now Okay, so I think this app is for rooms, mostly. It's not for scanning objects to play around with and uh, export, I guess. So we're just gonna stop scanning now and see where we're at. So, okay, so we forgot to go back there. We're behind the table, but that's okay. I think that's pretty good, but it's not a very high res. I mean, the, I feel like the depth is correct and everything, but as you can see, one of the plants is missing. When, even because even the uh, the chandelier right here, I mean, the lights on the chandelier, that light is uh, is not there too. Yeah, it didn't scan the outside. It did scan the wall right there, so, but it didn't scan the, uh, the outside. I think that's pretty good. It's pretty impressive. But with this kind of resolution, I don't think it's useful. It would be pretty cool to uh, to like revisit a room, like your old house or something. But I don't see it being used aside from some abstract. <laughs> Next. Okay, right now we're gonna try CP. Is it CP or SciPy? I don't know. So it's a phone app. All right. Let's do a new scan. Let's see if it detects. Ooh, I think this is for an object, so that's pretty impressive. I don't like it already. It's gonna show us the real capabilities of this app. And these are all free apps, by the way, so, you know, no harm done. So I feel like it's having uh, some hard time with the with the reflection. Okay, I think that's enough data. Let's try it out. Object save, okay. This app anyway, how does this work? New scan, that's what it did. I don't know what that was, but that wasn't the result I was looking for. Uh, so there's no real instructions here. So far, 
this Sippy Sci-Fi app. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, edit objects. What's this? What do I do with a bunch of dots? The navigation is a little bit janky. A small click like this is going to, uh, you know, make it go crazy. I'm not gonna use that. Let's do another one. Let's try the LiDAR scanner interface. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay, let's so let's start recording because that's it. Nice. Okay, so I think this is a good interface because you know exactly what you're getting. With the Polygon app, it's really I think it's the similar process, but the colors are really helping out. Like, I know if it's reading depth correctly. See right there I know that that purple thing outside that's outside it's the ceiling so that makes sense even through the glass you see so far I'm impressed it knows the flowers right there it knows that the chair is partially there See it building. So, is it good to be moving close to the object? Because the other app told me not to get too close to the object, but this is a pretty good span so far. I'm just gonna continue. That is very impressive. It's starting to get a little bit haywire because, because of the blinds, but I am still impressed that it's trying its best to just grab as much detail. That is very impressive. So I think it's having a hard time with the, the actual base, but it knows the flowers are there. Okay, that is a pretty good scan. You can see that it scanned the outside. Check that out. Oh man, that's amazing. That's pretty impressive so far. So, but I don't have any textures. What gives? Okay, that was a little bit of a bummer because there's no textures. Um, I mean, I I guess the detail is pretty good. Way better than that than the first two apps we tried, but man, this is the only one that didn't do the texture. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so this time we're gonna try Scaniverse. It's another portrait oriented one, so, but. Let's see, range, LiDAR range. Ooh, let's try 0.2 meters. What? Okay, let's try that, so let's start with the call. Okay, I don't like this, 0.2 meters, that's pretty close. That's the closest you can do. So here is the scan, you know, like the depth of the skull, which was pretty, which was should be pretty obvious, it's right there. Uh, didn't work, so let's do another scan. Let's do one meter. Initializing, okay, so I don't know if you saw that, but it says initializing. Let's see. This is pretty good, a uh, pretty good interface because you can pretty much see if, you know, as you move closer to the object, if it is scanning it. So, you want to move back and forth towards an object all the time? I mean, if you want to be accurate, then the 3D scanning like this, get a good read, Let's get the height of these objects in. You can see it's having a hard time with that, uh, with the reflection. Okay, we got the table, so let's stop now. Oh, wow. Wow, that's, it's not bad. That is not bad. We didn't really scan the chairs, but 
it knew, it knew it was there, that something was there. It's not high res, but it's pretty impressive because you can see that Albert Einstein's head is has that tilt to it, you know. It's looking to the side and uh, see where that light is coming from. It's coming from the, the window right here. It got that shade pretty good, even with the skull right here. Look, there's the soil and then there's the uh, there's the plants, there's the flowers. Look at that. That's amazing. It's not high res again, but if you're just trying to capture a room, this is really good. And um, and it's textured. And look at that table, it's clean. Ooh, we can still process it. Processing scan. I can feel the iPad heating up while doing this session, but it's not throttling. Oh, wow. That is a night and day difference. Look at that. I am very impressed with this. Look at the lighting and the texture. Woo! I'm gonna try a new one. Let's try the 0.2 meters again. Second try. We're just going to do Einstein for this scan, so that was the best result. That was impressive. I was really blown away that you could change the depth midway. Let's do a high quality texture. I can feel my iPad uh, heating up, but nothing like MacBook heat. Wow, that is amazing. I mean, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. That is pretty impressive. I like that. It's clean. It's enough for me to know what it is. So I think this is the best one so far. I like the texture, it's very clean. The model is salvageable for sure. I'm sure with, a, with more time, practice, and uh, some more tweaks to the app, it's gonna be a really, it's a really good app. So good, good, uh, good job. Five stars. Okay, so the last app that we have is the 3D Scanner app. It's the first result when you search 3D scanner. So, at least on my end, I don't know if it's gonna change for you. Let's check it out. 3D scanner app. I have two options, low res and high res. So, let's read this more slowly, blah, blah, blah. Figure things like a room works best. Okay, tiny details more and not get picked up. So, let's just do the high res. Let's, let's do that. And let's start scanning. So far, I don't see anything happening. Is it just... Is it working? Is it working? It's a pretty big fail. What, is it frozen? Is it what? I don't know what's going on, guys. I mean... Well, now it's working. I thought it stayed far. So far means means maybe this close, not like a room left, not like you're looking at a room. It seems like whatever it's scanning is being uh, is being projected in augmented reality. And it's also trying to pick up these these objects. That was pretty weird with the with the instructions because it says it's better in a room, but right now. It's making me scan things on the table and not the room. So far, this one is getting the. This is the first one that's getting the these flowers. Wow. But did I lose the other objects? I think I lost the other objects. I am impressed so far that it's scanning the flowers, which is one of the hardest things I tried to scan and. Uh, None of the apps were were taking the flowers. It's not that high res, but I mean, it's good enough considering the others didn't even pick it up. 
Let's see where we're at with this guy. That's good. That's good that it kept all the, uh, the objects on the table. And uh, maybe not good that it got a little bit of the table. That's weird because it already isolated the four things on the table. But no harm done, you can easily delete that if you can export this uh, 3D, 3D file. But let's check it out. Okay, it can still process the scan. I thought that was, the, that, was that already. There was two stages to the scanning, I guess. I like the fact that it tried the flowers. Nobody tried with the nobody tried the flowers, but this app kind of failed with everything else. There's barely anything on the scan, but the flowers. That is A for effort. E. The fact that it even tried to to get the flower. I mean, it it is the one that I scanned a lot, but I felt like it was working really well with that. So. Kudos, but everything else, I mean, even the instructions saying it's gonna capture the room didn't work. I mean, it wasn't, <laughs> it didn't wanna work that way. So, either change the instructions or just let us scan and then figure it out. So, final verdict which app will I use? I think I will use Scaniverse. That was a pretty good app. You can see exactly what's being captured. I like the Scaniverse because you can move in and out. You can even move the slider, which is which is great because you can scan the room and then go near an object and then slide it and then scan uh, whatever's on the table or something. That's a really good feature. And I think that's the app that would be pretty useful for, you know, whatever use case you, you want. I think it would do a better job with bigger objects. I think there's still a lot of room for improvement with regards to LiDAR scanning. I don't know if it's the technology or maybe the apps that need to be better, but so far it's impressive. Thank you for checking out these apps with me. This is your iPad bro. I'll see you next time. Peace.